hey YouTube, it's uh, Tabel Tovum here. So, uh, for those of you that are only subscribed to the Tabel Tovum channel, and you don't know about my other channel, I'm gonna say the same thing on this video, on this channel, why not? Um, my conclusion to the Flat Earth, alright? This is what happened. They've always known, and they've always known that by... They could keep us under control with the heliocentric model. There's a lot of ways. Uh, you can scare people with meteors. Uh, but it's not just that. It's just... Uh, I'll say it like this. Please, Neil deGrasse Tyson, please look in your telescope and tell me more about the universe. As a matter of fact, here. Here's some more money for, you know... Uh, can you tell me more? Can you get a better telescope? Um, shit, we got... Hubble telescope and the uh, the Sophia telescope, they're actually the same telescopes. There ain't no fucking Hubble telescope up there. We know that. We know that. The, there ain't no ISS with people uh, in there in the thermosphere cruising around. All right? Not happening. I don't know what the hell happened to the BS detector, but I hope you're all right. And I loved your channel. We all loved your channel, man. You always made me laugh. And what more can you ask of anybody? Right? So, that being said, man... It's a psyop. It, it absolutely is. They knew that it was going to come out. So why not be ahead of the game? Okay? The power structure in this world is so deep layered over multi, multi generations back. I'm talking people set plans in motion that aren't going to have an outcome until a hundred years later. Do you understand? Their sons. And, and grandsons will carry these acts out. This is this is how, this is how it really works. Just think, who's infallible? What church never got blown up like when all the other ones did? It, it's just not hard to see. It's it's just not hard to see. And I'll be honest, I don't like I don't like talking about who. I don't because they're powerful people, and they could crush me. <laughs> so. You know, I'm right here telling people we've wasted our time with the flat earth. I'm not saying it's a fucking, it's a bad thing. It's real, okay? Uh, probably 15% of it is real, the flat earth, right? About 15% of it. You know, the fact that the sun and moon are, you know, same size, closer, revolve around us, all those things, you know, that we can see, yes, they're true. Everything else, you know, the ice wall, all that, we don't know. We don't know, but they do. They know what our world is like. They absolutely know. And at all costs, they, they don't want us to know. That's why there's an Antarctic treaty with 50 fucking countries. You know, nobody can agree on anything in the world. The whole world fights, but we can agree that nobody go over to the snowy places. It's cold there. Just, just, just send scientists over there. Bull fucking shit. Come on, man. Come on. No. No. I mean, I seriously think that if 100,000 people just started marching towards the fucking North Pole, you know, just, they wouldn't be able to stop us. And if they did, they'd have to just literally violently stop us with military weapons or whatever, you know, while we're on foot, literally traversing fucking mountains to try to either find the North Pole or the fucking edge, right? Right? Because seriously, like, is this flat earth thing going to just go on and go on? And, uh, eight hour hangouts, people arguing all fucking day long. You know, speculation spe after speculation, which don't get me wrong. That's my favorite thing to do is speculate. My favorite thing to do, right? But I also like to learn shit and know, okay, yeah, my speculations were right. Or, or no, I was totally wrong. I'm a fucking idiot, you know? This is what we want to know, okay? So people like us. The diggers, the people who just, we don't accept what we're told. We, we never have, right? Those were a fucking problem for them, okay? That's part of the reason this flat earth thing came out. Because it's going to grab a lot of people who would otherwise be spending their time looking into 9-11, right? Looking into the way the banking system works, right? If anybody knew anything about the way it really works, it's... <laughs> uh, again, I... I 
you know i'm just one little guy i gotta be careful honestly what i say no shit man i fucking i don't feel free to say anything i want on youtube i'm sitting here in america and i'll be honest i don't feel free to say certain things <laughs> so what does that tell you um i'm sorry martial law is coming it it, it it's gonna happen I don't know if it's going to happen like this year or within the next five years, but things are going to change. We are going to come full circle, full circle, okay? Check it out. The power structure. They created the Nazis, okay? So the whole world hated the Nazis and, and we supposedly defeated the Nazis. The Nazis were a fucking finger, a fingernail even, okay? Of this corporation, of this web of groups and companies, okay? Over generations and generations. These people own the world. Make no mistake, they fucking own the world. And if you don't believe me, try to fucking not pay the taxes on your house if it's paid off. You know? Try to just build something right in your yard. Nope, you gotta get a permit. You wanna do anything. You wanna drive a car, you gotta get a fucking permit. You want, you know, you gotta pay, pay, pay. Listen, I fucking play guitar on the street. Do you know how many times I have been ticketed in my life for fucking using amplification on the street or, 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 or like a noise ordinance? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Sitting here in the city, right? And amongst woo, woo, sirens and just all kinds of horrible noises, you're gonna tell me that a little bit of bluesy music is 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 worth a fucking fine? Really? You know? And I've I've gone through this fucking time and time and time because I've I've gone cross country. You know, you, you, you look for a spot where, you know, like a bus station or something, you look for a spot where people are going to gather and go in and out and you try to play there and you, make, you know, try to make money. And you just, you'd be surprised how many fucking people just, just for no reason, just don't want to see you eat. They just don't want to see you fucking eat. They could let you sit there and do your thing, but they don't want to fucking see you eat. That's the mentality that we're fucking dealing with, all right? That's what we're teaching our children. We're teaching our children, what do we say? All right, don't fight. Straighten out your differences. Talk your differences out. You know, uh, right? All that shit, right? In the meantime, we're fucking literally killing these people's fucking cousins probably, right? Um, just blowing the shit out of them while we tell, while we tell you know, our kids, right? <laughs> Don't fight, work out your differences. This is what I want to know. For the kids, okay? Not even for the kids. It should be for, for even for my generation, right? First of all, why is there still a whole bunch of white-haired, old white men that, that run the country, right? Okay? For one. But eventually, they're going to be dead. And there's going to be all these younger children, right? How can you manage a country or manage, like, a war machine... If you really don't know what happened with your own country. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, we go to school. They don't fucking teach us about the Battle of Tonkin. They don't They don't teach us, you know what I mean, like, the, the real truth of these wars. Because it, it's just the reasons are so fucking horrendous that we don't teach the kids that. They openly lie to kids that are young, sit you in a classroom, lie to you about fucking Christopher Columbus, and then later on they tell you, well, no, he was actually, you know, like kind of like a pirate and a piece of shit. You know, it's like, well, why the fuck did you lie to me? Why'd you sit me in the classroom? For, <laughs> why'd you, you tested me on it, you fucking asshole, right? Um, it, listen, it's all designed, I'm telling you, that they, they have you figured out. If you have a Facebook and a YouTube account, they have you fucking, you are in a category somewhere. You're color coded, you're fucking, they know, they, they know right where you are. They know right what you're doing. And that's fucking real. That's real. And people say, well, if you ain't doing nothing wrong, you got nothing to worry about. And it's like, yeah, I mean, but still, it's just fucking creepy, you know, that like, they, the school system, you know, they, they, they take the parents out of the equation, right? Look look at some of these kid shows. Dora the Explorer, right? 
kid's, what, four years old, just roaming the country? Where's her fucking parents? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but, uh... I've noticed kids shows, it's all space, 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 space. There's all uh, aliens from space. A families, family of aliens come, but they pretend that they're human. So, you know, it's just like these kid shows, it's all about space and aliens. And it's just, they're fucking programming them. They're programming them. See, they have hologram technology, all right? And I know I sound crazy, but I've looked into this shit. This shit exists, all right? They have hologram technology, right? Where in the future... 50% of the world believes in aliens and UFOs right now. That well, That's what they say. 50%. What happens when it's 65, 75, and 80%? And they start coming through with these, um, you know, holograms and, and, and real drones. These UFOs, <laughs> fucking drones, baby. Right? Will you take the mark of the beast? I'm going on record right now saying I will never take the mark of the beast. Peace.